<clears throat> hi. <laughs> oh man. Uh, hi. Great to see everybody. Uh, my name is Drew, and I'm in the band Orange Drink, and I'm here to welcome you to Weekly Beats 2024. I'm the unofficial cheerleader for Weekly Beats, and I thought I would just make a little video uh, welcoming everyone and giving you some tips and tricks and maybe some reasons why I think you should do it. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, Weekly Beats is a project where you finish a song once a week for the entire year. Started in 2012, and then I myself have done it in 2016, 2018, 2020, and 2022. And then in 2022, along with making a song once a week, I also made a music video. What I like about Weekly Beats is that it helps me with the discipline of finishing a song. I feel like it's really easy for me to come up with a cool song idea or come up with a loop or think of something that would be fun to do but the actual discipline of actually recording it and arranging it and mixing it and mastering it and doing all of the unfun hard work uh, that was really difficult for me to do so weekly beats helped me get better at that last lap of actually finishing a song before i started the weekly beats i had released four albums with 30 songs total and then in my first year, I completed 52 songs. So I almost doubled my career output in one year. The other reason to do Weekly Beats is I think most everyone who participates in Weekly Beats is a solo musician. And being a solo musician can just get really lonely. And I think a lot of you know what it's like to get in your head and get really slightly insane about does this sound good? Am I wasting my time? Is this worth the effort? And what's nice about Weekly Beats is that you get to be part of a community with other people who are also insane and losing their minds, but you can also see their perspective and get some outside perspective of your own work. It was really eye-opening to listen to other people's music and then hear their notes about what they thought of their own work. And I was shocked by these people who I thought were incredible and they did everything perfectly and they were insecure about all these minor details that I like didn't even notice or the things that they were insecure about I really enjoyed so they said oh the mix is terrible and I was like oh I love the mix because it's blah 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 when you're working on music by yourself it's just way too easy to get stuck in your own head and getting feedback from other people who are doing the same thing that you are it can be so helpful for you to really see the song for what it actually is. And I feel like there have been many times where I released a track during Weekly Beats and I didn't really have a confident feeling about it. And then someone interpreted the piece in a completely different way and that made me much more excited about the work. Shout out to Ked Break 136 who basically convinced me that mo all of my tracks have some value. <laughs> His philosophy is a track is a track is a track. So it doesn't matter if it's good or bad because we're not really here for good or bad. We're here for finishing songs. And if you can finish songs, then, you know, God bless you and like, I'm so jealous. Um, but I feel like I need Weekly Beats to have the accountability and the discipline and also the fun of having people that I know are going to listen to my work and give feedback so that encourages me to make something great for them and then also to get great advice from people whose work I can listen to and then ask like how did you do XYZ. I do want to say one reason not to do Weekly Beats is if you think that you're going to do Weekly Beats and you're going to get all of these fans and become super famous like I don't really think that that's how this is going to work um, I would say only do weekly beats if you want to get better as a musician because I think in terms of like getting famous that has much more to do with marketing and honestly you would probably be more famous if you marketed one song 52 times rather than wrote 52 songs so think of this as something completely different in terms of a like music career but you know here I am trying to go pro 
as a musician, so <coughs> awkward. Okay, if you're new to Weekly Beats, I really gotta tell you, the upload button does not mess around. When the deadline hits, that upload button disappears. Also, if you are in the middle of filling out your description and uploading the file, when the deadline hits, your upload will not complete. So, please, 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 like, do not play around with the upload time because it is, it is not a joke around. Uh, I've lost a couple years off of my life panicking because of that upload button. All of that being said, it's not like the complete end of the world, one, because who cares? And then two, there are some very generous moderators of the Weekly Beats website that will help you with a late upload link. In the unlikely event that you miss the deadline. But something might happen with your internet connection or whatever, so like don't really sweat it too much. Um, also this is just for fun, there's like no real penalty or whatever. Um, I think another good Weekly Beats practice is if you want a comment, leave a comment. That's like a pretty good kind of rule of thumb. Um, there's gonna be a lot of music so we're not gonna be able to get to everyone, but within the week when you're not working on your track, it would be kind of nice if you could listen to some other people's work and just leave a comment about what you thought of their work. I think most everyone is available for constructive criticism. Everyone tends to be very generous and nice because we're also all under the same constraints and we also know how crazy it is to try to complete a song in one week. So it's like not that big of a deal. Everyone gets like, that this whole thing is crazy, so no one is expecting, you know, the world. Um, but if you feel like not enough people are listening to your work, I would recommend making an effort to listen to more people's work and leave some comments. And then the cool thing is you will start making some friends because you will start to find out like what you have in common musically with other people and it'll be fun. Another piece of advice is don't beat yourself up. If you're someone who has historically not been able to finish writing songs, don't beat yourself up because if beating yourself up was a an effective motivator, then you would be finishing songs by now. So like the fact that you're here means like you need some accountability or some motivation or some support finishing songs. So just like maybe don't beat yourself up ever. Uh, and my personal request is don't badmouth your work because sometimes you are unintentionally offending the fans that you have of the thing that you did in your work. You know, if someone likes your work, I mean, don't, don't argue with them. Just say thank you. If, you, if this is too stressful or if you just want to do once a month, or if you just want to do like six and then bow out, or if you want to just see as far as you can go without committing to the whole year, like all of that is all good. The real thing here is that more artwork in the world is better than less artwork in the world. I like to think of Weekly Beats like a gym and everyone is just coming to get in shape, but everyone does different things to achieve their goals, and in shape means really different things for different people. For some of you musicians out there, you might think that you are this good. And in order to be this good, you need to have everything perfectly. You need to have your setup, you need to have time off of work, you need to be in a good mood, you need to have the idea, you need to have all these things set up. And if everything is set up perfectly, then you can be this good. Now, in weekly beats, when you everything is not perfect, you're probably this good. That might feel discouraging that you're not as good as you think you can be on a perfect day, but what happens in weekly beats is you start leveling up your like worst performance. So, throughout the year, crazy stuff is going to happen and life will get in the way of you making music. So what happens when you keep showing up and you keep making music is that your worst will slowly start getting better. And then the real miracle of Weekly Beats 
is that one day you might beat your personal best with no idea how that happened. That has happened to me many times, dozens of times in the years that I've been doing weekly beats and I've seen it happen to other people. There is something that you can do as a musician that no one else can do as good as you and I feel like, I would say that it's, it's, your, it's actually your responsibility as a musician to find out what that is. Um, we have a Discord that a lot of people chat on, which is nice, and kind of at the deadline, people get on to like a audio call. I made a zine about my uh, Weekly Beats experience. It's uh, 40 pages, I made it with my friend uh, Billy, and it's really cool. So you can buy that, and it comes with a cool Weekly Beats related sticker. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, I haven't made the song for this week, so that has to happen yet. All right, bye.